Today we talk about reverse thrust. This is a system that helps an airplane slow down after landing. First, an important point. Wheel brakes are the main way to stop an airplane. Reverse thrust is an extra helper, not the primary brake. So why use it at all? Because right after touchdown the aircraft is still fast. At high speed, brakes can be limited by tire grip and heat. Reverse thrust helps early in the landing roll. It can reduce brake wear and can help on short, wet or slippery runways. Now how does it work on a modern airliner turbofan engine? Most big passenger jets use a cascade type thrust reverser. It mainly reverses the cold bypass air from the fan, not from the core exhaust. Here is a simple idea. In normal flight, air goes through the engine and exits to the back, giving forward thrust. After touchdown, the pilots pull the thrust levers into reverse. Then a sleeve on a nestle moves backward and opens cascade vanes on the side. At the same time, blocker doors inside the bypass duct close the normal exit path. So the fan air is forced out through those cascade vanes. The vanes point the airflow forward and outward. That forward component creates a braking force like pushing air to the front. But notice this. The engine core still blows hot exhaust to the back. So reverse thrust is not truly 100% backward thrust. It is more like reducing forward thrust and adding a forward directed airflow from the fan. But there are other designs too. Some older jets use bucket or target doors at the back of the engine. Those doors swing into the exhaust and deflect it forward. On turboprop airplanes it is different. The propeller blades can change angle into reverse pitch. So the propeller itself produces reverse thrust for braking. Reverse thrust systems are designed with strong protections against deploying in-flight. Because uncommanded reverse in-flight is a serious hazard. Certification rules focus heavily on preventing that. So that is reverse thrust. A smart way to help slow down the aircraft after landing. Less brake wear, better stopping performance and more safety margin when conditions are not perfect.